Now you might not be aware, but you can actually layer the Adorn Cosmetics foundations. So whether you love your BB cream, your cream stick, or the liquid mineral foundation, you can also apply what is in fact a foundation in its own right, but also apply over the top is our loose mineral with an SPF of 20 plus. This is definitely my go-to for a daily foundation application. And in fact is what I have on at the moment. It's very skin like, and I love the fact that I've got the added protection of the SPF 20 plus. I love that this product also does not have any fillers like talc, bismuth, rice powder, etc and it's therefore not going to dry my skin out especially since my skin is already a little dehydrated it doesn't have any synthetic perfumes and it sits on the skin acts like skin and allows my skin to breathe and sweat because it's a porous product your skin can sweat through it and that's what gives it its water resistant properties so if you live in a humid climate or you sweat or perspire maybe you like a little bit of coverage while you're exercising this is a definite must all you need to do is blot your sweat off or the water off it will remove it but it will not remove the foundation so you can always be sure that your skin's looking its best what I like about this is it also calms redness. So if you are someone who suffers from psoriasis like me, eczema, maybe you have rosacea, the titanium and the zinc oxide in this product, non-nanotechnology, so extremely safe ingredients because the molecules are not small enough to enter the bloodstream. It sits on the skin topically calming the skin down so think zinc on baby's bums and calming nappy rash this is exactly what that's doing it's calming your red skin down and in fact we have a lot of rosace rosacea sufferers or people with redness as a concern that love the product what i have to say is that if you have a sensitive skin not only are all of our foundations amazing especially this one with the spf of 20 plus but your tools are super important as well so if you're using a product that has uh, a tool rather that has um, a synthetic bristle that's too harsh or even an animal hair you can get an itchy sensitivity to it so always opt for a brush that is a vegan brush that's super soft and it's not creating that harsh sore feel that some brushes can do and also don't give a really nice application either so you're applying more product and getting less results so your beauty tools really do make the difference between an average or an amazing coverage especially when it comes to your foundation so my tips are Always look for a brush that's quite soft. It will exfoliate the skin gently, so that's even more important. Now, getting back to the fact that you can actually layer these products, if you're wanting something that's going to give you a little bit more coverage, maybe you just love the liquid, love the cream, love the BB, but you want the added benefit of the SPF in this, you might find that using our complexion, our complexion brush is the best option for you if you just want to do a little dust down the t-zone maybe you want a bit of added protection on your cheeks then this is a really good light application brush okay the other option you've got is the kabuki brush our best selling kabuki brush this gives a heavier coverage so again you can apply this by itself or if you want super duper camera finish products um camera finish on your face rather then you can apply it by pressing it on your face with this kabuki brush okay so there the options that you've got you could also use this as a setting powder you just use one of our bigger brushes and gently pop that over the top and use it as a setting powder now when you're using a foundation underneath this you can either equally match them the same or you might find that if your foundation underneath is a little bit light you could get a slightly darker loose just to give that a little bit of a lift okay but just remember sometimes that when you're putting two colors together it can make that foundation color a little bit darker anyway so grab some samples see what combination works best for you and i hope that these tips have really helped you out